Hey, what's up, everyone? So it's your boy Yashvia Gaming. Where if you're new to the channel, guys, please like the video and subscribe. Okay. Alright. In this video, guys, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna set up MSI Afterburner and Riva Tuner. Alright. So many of you, okay, might be wondering how people are showing. Okay, how people are previewing in their gameplays. How are they previewing their FPS, average FPS, minimum FPS? their cpu temperature and their gpu temperature as well so in this video i'm gonna guide you how you're gonna su successfully do that okay before launching any game okay so well you'll need to download msi afterburner okay so here it is and don't worry i'm gonna leave a link will be provided to the official website where to download and install msi afterburner then you're gonna right click and run this as administrator okay hit yes all right so it's gonna look like this all right so i'm using a gt 1030 as you can see my graphics card is nvidia geforce gt 1030 and yes uh i'm overclocking okay i have overclocked the gt 1030 all right and i'm also gonna do another video uh, to show you how well does the GT 1030 performs okay on Fortnite with overclock all right so you um yeah so for the setups okay you're gonna click settings okay and you will be brought to MSI afterburner properties and now if you wanna get the same skins okay same skin or maybe another skin you want to go to user interface and here as you can see you can change into anything okay there are a bunch of skins here you can choose okay all right so i'm not gonna choose that okay all right so next you want to use this back arrow and left and right arrows so here we are on the general okay as you can see i have gpu1 okay nvidia geforce 10 gt 1030 right. okay so next you want to go to monitoring all right so here as you can see all of these will be unchecked okay so you'll have to take gpu temperature and then make sure that to uh to take this show in on screen display okay show in OSD. OSD means on screen display. Alright. If you haven't take this, then it won't show. Okay. In the game, when you uh, select your, uh, when you put your hotkeys, okay, to begin logging, okay, it will not show. So you'll have to make sure that show in on screen display is selected. Then um, we're gonna do for the GPU usage as well and as you can see i have turned on okay the tick i have given tick on the gpu temperature gpu usage and um, yeah this one memory clock so what i did it was i take this and i make sure to click on that and click this where it says show in osd okay then you're gonna scroll down until you see your cpu temperature okay so if uh i have my cpu i have four cores okay so you can if you wanna give all of those four cores okay uh that means if your cpu has only two cores then only cpu one and two will show but i have four cores so that's why i have cpu one two three and four okay so i've checked cpu temperature um if you want to check cpu usage nope don't do that so what else did i check okay yeah this one ram usage okay the memory ram usage and make sure to take show in on screen display all right and this one is a frame rate which is fps okay i've taken frame rate frame time frame rate mini uh, minimum frame rate average and frame rate max 
and then this one frame rate one percentage low and then frame rate 0.1 percentage low okay all of these are as you can see in the properties all of these are show will be showing in the osd that means on screen display okay so once you've done that you can go and hit apply okay um here before you hit apply click on on screen display here so as you can see i have set hotkeys okay so you can use alt um alt key control and any letter okay so i have so to toggle okay so to uh to show on screen display and to uh to toggle on and hide okay control h control s to show to toggle okay control t all right and you can set all of that hit apply and then okay all right so i've done all of that okay so next you wanna on your taskbar here you wanna click this and you wanna you will see Riva Ch tuner statistics server so i click that as well okay so click on it and it's gonna show like this here you can click setup and you wanna see a bunch of stuff which probably we will not be using as you can see if you have if your settings is not like me so just pause the video and copy all of that okay and here as you can see on screen display zoom here if you can play with it uh, as you can see how how big the fps okay uh will be showing like this or maybe if i prefer it, the font okay the font let's make it like this somewhere between this okay and of course you can choose any uh display rendering mode such as vector 3d 2d and raster 3d okay on screen uh, display support and frame rate limit if you want to choose that stealth mode and application detection so if you are set to none low medium high okay so for epic games okay for fortnite it is on low but if you have gta 5s and uh, rockstar games then choose medium okay and if you have any other games such as um, games that does not allow okay games that uh, uh which uh game gameplay online okay oh my god i don't know why i'm stuttering um okay then maybe some games will have uh detection levels then you can choose stealth mode as well okay so so far so good so just once you've done that don't close just minimize it minimize this one as well and you're good to go just launch fortnite double click on fortnite and just give it a wait and you should see you should uh you will see the fps will be start showing up just wait of over here and as you can see this one the easy anti-cheat this before we start fortnite it checks the detection level so if it sees an SI afterburner uh if it sees this is the river tuner settings we have set up then you can turn on stealth mode but you don't have because it is unstable this MSI afterburner is uh it is the latest and final version and it is stable and as you can see guys it will appear like this okay the gpu memory okay it's gonna show like this gpu okay which is a gpu temperature the memory the cpu temperature the ram and the, uh, this is a fps okay so yeah yes i have to hit apply on that so here go to settings go to monitoring here uh, 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 um so if i would like to add this cpu one show on screen okay cpu usage show on screen and uh, where is it 
Tipier Max. Framerate, Commit Charge. Hit Apply. Hit Apply. OK. And as you can see, here we go. Now it's going to show all the CPU 1, CPU 2. This is uh, the core. How many cores my CPU have? OK. Four cores, RAM, and then the DDR3. FPS, uh, okay, 180 FPS as you can see, guys. Okay, so I hope this is recording because I don't want it to throttle, or maybe the video will not record. Okay, so as you can see, this is how we do it, guys. So, yeah, if this tour was helpful, definitely give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment, guys. Um, if this works for you or not okay so you may disable all of these cpu cores okay even if you have six cores eight cores okay your cpu is six cores maybe a ryzen 5 okay uh 5600 or maybe a ryzen 7 with 5700 eight cores and yeah do not uh, click on all the eight cpus or six cpus okay because it's gonna be messy it's gonna be a long okay yeah all right you get it okay yeah i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna see you guys in my next video peace